just seems like every time I watch the show, I have a complaint about Frank. It's like... <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to another video. For today's video, we are going to be reacting to Shameless Season 1, Episode 3. Now, before we get into the video, I want to address something. People were asking me why I was calling that man Jimmy, but when you Google his name, it says Jimmy because I'm not good at memorizing the character's name, so it's easier just to Google different people and stuff so that I'm not, like, saying the wrong people's names. Like, I'm just not like, oh, that guy, that one person. It's like... His name says Jimmy, they call him Steve. We're just going to dress to him as Fiona's man. Okay, that's what we're going to be calling him, but yeah. So without further ado, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and let's get right into the video. Hi. My thing is like, yeah, the lady was looking. He was like, I would have been looking too. I'm not even mad at the lady, but it's like my whole thing is like, why is it that they're like in the cop car? I'm like, why is she with Tony? Like, who wants Tony? Like, no shade to Tony, but like, you know what I mean? Kind of seems like a downgrade, like low key. Like, if she wanted Tony, she would have been with Tony, and that's just on period. So it's like, obviously, she's just playing that man because she's mad about that fact that the other guy, you know, put her dad in Canada. Well, it's like Frank needed to go to Canada. I know that that's like messed up, but it's like, it's Frank, so it's like, who cares, you know? Maybe. Hey. Oh, what's, what's going on? I wanted to thank you for coming to my rescue in history class today. Um, so this girl is over here, like, she's trying to flirt with, like, Ian. And so, like, Ian's, like, man is, like, over there, like, looking like, okay, and, you know, it's, like, really awkward, that whole situation. But it's, like, also, it's, like, the girl is trying to flirt with him, and it's, like, he does not want you. You know what I mean? It's, like, coming on down. Like, she's trying extra hard, and it's, like, obviously, like, he's just, like, uh-uh. So it's kind of like. Ian, not for you. Huh? Friend the brother to win back the girl. Is that what we're doing? You tell me. So the man like really showed up at the house. Like he's there. He's like, hey, like obviously he wants Fiona back, but she's moved on. Um, I know he's probably gonna be like, listen, I'm sorry, I dumped your dad in Canada or whatever. Like, can we be cool again? And she, she with Tony. She with the cop. I'm like, as much illegal stuff as her family does, though, like, she should not be up there dating no cop now. She know better, but that's besides the point. But anyway, so now he's trying to, like, wiggle his way back in her life, and she's just not having it. She's not feeling it. She's not vibing with it. She's like, nah. Hey, So she's like, I'm going to go to the store or whatever. But it's like, I thought you can't leave the house. So that's why Frank looks like the store. Like, everybody's sitting over there looking for you. So like, it's like, where are you going to go? Like, you're not going to go to the store. Like, we already know the tea. So it's like, I don't know. But maybe she's going to actually try to go outside. And I think that that's good for her. You know, she needs to get some, some sunlight. You know, go outside. Do all that. So it's like, I think that that's good. You know, if she decides to go outside and do her thing. Yeah. She was outside for two seconds, heard the noises, all that, went right back up in that house. She was like, I'm not finna do it with y'all. Like, I'm not finna be playing with y'all out here. So, she finna go back inside. Um, Yeah, so I'm like, hopefully, like, she can overcome her fear one day because it's like, you know, it's kind of sad. She's like cooped up in the house. I'm sure she's bored. She has nothing to do. She's just kind of like, everybody else, they get outside, they can leave. It's like, she just has to stay there. It's like, what can she do? She could watch TV. Like, there's a few things she could do, but, like, really, like, she, I'm sure she's bored. You know, I'm sure she's, like, over. She's, like, okay, I'm ready to go back outside. Like, let's keep it moving. I don't know if she's never been outside or if she has been outside, and then all of a sudden she just had a fear. One day, I don't know what it is. I don't know. We need $587 or they won't turn the gas back on. Well, I'm taking the PSATs for some Polish kid over in He's supposed to give me, like, 100 bucks. Yeah, I... So they're all cold. They don't have any heat. And, um, yeah, Lip is like, well, I'll just take the PSAT for somebody. Because we all know, like, Lip is smart. They need money. So, he's just like, I got to do what I got to do to, like, get us some cash. Because everybody's sitting up in the house freezing. 
And, you know, Fiona's like, oh, man, like, we didn't pay the bill or whatever. Which, again, it's like, she's trying her best. Like, she may mess up a few times, but at the end of the day, she's still trying. She takes care of all of these kids, you know, by herself. She has no help, no backup, no nothing. And it's like the fact that, you know, she still makes sure that these kids eat, get to school on time, work, do all of these different things. And it's like, while still taking care of herself, it's like, you got to give Fiona props. So just... Any of her props, right? This song's on fire. You did it in a car? Not even meaning to. <laughs> she really sitting in here, like, talking about this, like, little car hookup, like, it's a moment, and it's like, mmm, -hmm. it's not really. But, like, you're trying, so we're gonna give you, like, these little props, but it's like, Tony is not it. Like, Tony seems like the guy, like, where it's like, oh, I want to marry you and have kids. And it's like, you're going to be like a little housewife and all that. And that's not Fiona. Like, that's never been Fiona. Like, it's not giving. You know, so it's kind of like, Fiona, you could tell, like, she wants, like, a bad boy. Like, someone who will, like, buy her gifts and, like, things like that. But it's also, like, we'll go on crazy adventures and, like, do crazy stuff. Like, Tony, she doesn't want him. Someone may be cashing your aunt's checks without a consent. 12 years ago, your aunt changed her address to her mailboxes, etc. 12 years ago, and you're here now. They're doing an investigation right now on, like, these checks. They're trying to figure it out. Fiona's like, I have no idea what you were talking about. Obviously, if she knew about these checks, like, they would have heat in their house. Okay, so I'm like, the only person they could beat would be Frank, because that's definitely something that Frank would do, because Frank is dumb. So I'm thinking that Frank is taking these checks, but again, and he gets a disability check. So I'm like, he takes all his money and just spends it on alcohol. It's like, your kids have no heat. There's a baby that is freezing in that house right now. And you, all you do is spend all your money on drinks. Okay. Like he doesn't spend it on anything else. He's living at like this lady's house, taking advantage of her, like doing all of this stupid stuff. And he's getting two checks. Like, come on, Frank. Like, really, Frank? Really? It's like, you need to get it together because it's like, you're just dumb, Frank. You're dumb. So Mandy's, like, brother or whatever, like, pulled up. And I guess, like, that's, like, his other brothers or something, too, or something. Like, I don't know. But anyway, they pulled up trying to be Ian. Okay? Now, Ian's struggling. Cash, she's sitting over there like, what's going on? Like, y'all messing with my man. Da -da -da. But it's like y'all are doing all this, and it's like because he didn't want Mandy. So like, Mandy should be grateful. It's like she just going around like trying to get at everybody. At least like he had the common courtesy to be like, no, nah. because like I don't think like she knows about Ian. So it's kind of like you know, she's like just like, oh, why doesn't Ian want me? It's like Ian don't want any women. It's not just you. Don't take personally now. But it's like, but she doesn't know that. So it's kind of like, well, but it's like Ian finna get beat though. Leave me alone. Listen, you would not be so pissed off if you didn't care. You know nothing about me. Then teach me. Fiona's ex just showed up, up at the job. She's like, you don't know nothing about me. And he's saying, like, teach me or whatever you're saying. I don't know. That reminds me of, like, Grace Anatomy. Like, love me. Choose me. Pick me. Like, that. that's what he's doing right now. It's just like she's showing up. Like, he's showing up at her job. It's like, calm it on down. I think that's like her second job too, because then she worked at like a stadium or something. Right? Am I right? I don't know. But yeah, so it's like she's over here trying to like feed her family. Like trying to like make sure like that she's providing for her family and he's sitting over here trying to have a whole chit chat at her job. Like, why are you showing up at her job though? It's like go home. Go do something. Go steal a car. Cause that's what you do. Go steal a car. Okay? It's like stop worrying about her. She doesn't want you. And keep it moving. Keep it moving. So, Ian messed with Mandy. Ian? Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's highly unlikely. That's Mandy told us. No, trust me, you got the wrong. So, Lip and Mandy's brother, it's like they don't have no beef. Like, they were already saying that. But basically, like, Ian is, like, supposed to get beat. And because Lip's there, they're just kind of like, well, somebody got to get beat, whatever. But they're like, listen, Lip, like, your brother did this this and this and like lip like he didn't want to out his brother but basically he was like nah like Ian didn't do that like trust me like nah that not Ian you know because he knows the tea but since they don't know the tea he's not trying to like out his brother like that so he just kind of like well you know well 
maybe uh, Mandy's confusing Ian with any one of the other 400 dudes in the 10th grade she's already blown. So, basically, Lip, like, knew. Like, he was like, well, I don't want my little brother to get beat, so I'll just take the beat down for him. It's like, that was a really nice thing to do because, like, you know, he obviously, he didn't have to do that. But he was like, you know, I'm going to take this beat down for my little brother because he knows that his brother's innocent. He didn't do anything wrong. Mandy was the one going around, like, he, she was going around, like, spreading all of these lies and all of these different things and stuff like that. It's like, well, she shouldn't have been doing that in the first place, period. Who's the old dude? It's not a dude. It's your Aunt Ginger. Not the one who owns the house? That's right. Ginger, say hello to your nephew. The fact that, like, Frank is really trying to dress this man up, like, in a wig and stuff so, like, he could keep getting his check is absolutely ridiculous. It's like, Frank, it just seems like every time I watch the show, I have a complaint about Frank. It's like, at this point, like, Fiona's ex should have left him in Canada because it's like, if he's going to do all of this stupid stuff, he could have stayed in Canada. It's just like he's he does these things and he knows better. Frank knows better, but he doesn't care. He's just like, I want to get my money. I want to get my paycheck. I don't care about anybody else. Okay? That's the part, like, that irritates me. It's like you have, I don't know how many kids, four. There's six of them, right? Is there six of them? And it's kind of like you're not providing for them. You're not helping them. You're not doing anything. Like, you literally don't care about your kids. I got these from Imelda over at the office. It'll be a good way to stay warm. Why is Mr. Perry here? So these kids went to the hotel and they stole the little, it looked like some blow dryers or something. They done stole that because they needed some heat. And it's like, see, that's sad. Okay. Frank is worried about the check. These kids are trying to stay warm. Okay. They need warmth. That's so sad. And again, it's like Fiona's trying. She's like, listen, we're going to get this money. We're going to do that. But in the meantime, it's like these kids have to go try to find warmth like they have to try to figure something out so they could stay warm for the night okay fiona's working several jobs ian ben had a job lip is over here taking the psats for people to get money it's just like they're doing all this like they're struggling out here The fact that they're really out here, like, act like the old folks, I'm, like, really trying to, like, pick out a lady so that they could get the check. Like, come on. Y'all know better. So, basically, Debbie's living her best life. She in there, like, with the old lady. Like, she basically acting like that's really, like, and Ginger, which we all know, like, it's not. But, like, Debbie just having a good time. She vibing. Yeah. Gay. So Ian came out to Mandy. He was like, Mandy, like, this is the tea. It's not like that. I didn't like you, but he's like, I'm gay. So, you know, I guess he's going to be like, okay, get your brothers off of me. It's all good in the hood. Okay, this is the tea, and that's what's going on. Mrs. Gallagher, my name is Abby, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. My name is Abby, and I'd like to ask you a few. She sure was screaming in that lady's face, but did you see her face? She was like, <laughs> like she was like, um, like I can hear. Like it was like I don't know if it's on the paperwork that like she don't have no hearing or something or whatever. But it was like the lady was screaming. It's like calm down, bring that ten on down to a two, okay? I've never actually had a real boyfriend before. Well, not that you'd be a real boyfriend, but. A boyfriend I could do things with. It seems like Ian doesn't have any friends. It just seems like he hangs out either with his family or Castle. I'm glad that he has a friend. I feel like they're definitely going to be BFFs now. Um, I like that, you know, she, she knows what's going on with him, but she's not really, like, judging or anything. She's like, oh, okay, cool. So, I see them being really good friends, and I think that that's good for Ian. Ian needs a friend. <laughs> Debbie is over here crying, like, that's her real arm, but I get it, like, she got attached. I can tell that Debbie is definitely very sensitive, you know, we've seen that anyway, but she really cares for her dad and everything. She's just sensitive, you know, she cries a lot, stuff like that, but it's like, you know, she is younger, so I definitely get it. <sighs> she 
she really walks up in this man's job. She's like, hey. It's like, no. Uh-uh. See? I don't understand. Like, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. It's like, I don't know why she's doing all this. It's like, I thought you didn't want him. Now, all of a sudden, you do. Get it together, Fiona. Okay, guys, we are at the end of the video. So, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And make sure you guys are watching all of my other videos. And if you want to see more shameless videos, I do have a shameless playlist. So, you guys can go check that out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.